Alright, side scope. <clears throat> so, what I'm doing here is just making a basic kick drum pattern. I've already pre recorded it. I picked out a kick that I like. And I'm just going to go ahead and uh, play it to see how it sounds. Okay, that needs to be quantized for sure. There you go. All right, so you drop a instance of size scope onto one track. Now I've selected two bars. And what you'll want to do is you'll want to take an instance of, well, you know, since this is open, take a look at what's going on here. See the velocities vary. See how the kicks, some are bigger, some are smaller. So what I'm doing is I'm just duplicating all the way across for simplicity. There, now they're all the same size on the scope. So what you'll want to do is you'll want to, uh, what I'm going to do actually is just create a baseline from a saw wave. Keep in mind, composing is not mixing. Arrangement is not composing either. Everything has its own place. Right now I'm just trying to compose a bass line and I'll show you how I use Psyscope to mix. So we're gonna open up this, this window here. We're gonna put input from uh, Synth, the Fat Dance Stabber, Post Mixer, and now you can see both the kick and the saw wave show up. Now if you click layers, well here, let me show you what's going on here. You have to have an instance of a, of Psyscope on the other instrument that you want to show up in layers. So I drop size scope on that si on that saw wave. Go ahead and play it. See what it looks like. There we go. Drop down menu every two bars. Okay, now we're gonna go back over to that kick. And, and now when we select layers, the on the bottom one. Shows up in red and the baseline shows up in green. Really, really helpful for checking phase, for timing issues, for ducking, side chaining, etc. Which is the same thing as ducking, but some people call it potatoes, some people call it potatoes. Basically, that's it. You get the point. So I, I recorded probably about, I don't know, an hour and a half. So I figure I'll make a little series. I think the next one, I'm gonna go into some ducking techniques that you can do without using compressors. And that's it for now. <laughs>